All right, I want to make a box with exact dimensions, and so here's how you do it. Uh, I'm going to start with making a new model. So into the folder, press new, do millimeters. This is a fairly standard procedure you should know how to do by now, so I'll click on that. I'm not going to save it. I have nothing I want to keep in my model. If there was something I like to keep, I would choose yes to save it first. Now let's get rid of this component to start with, so select it, use the spacebar or however you'd like to do it, and then press delete. I would like to now create a rectangle. Actually, first, before we do that, let's have a look at our units just to make sure. Over on the right-hand side, the model info. I'm working in millimeters. Right now I have no decimal places being shown, but I would like to always show one decimal place. So these are the two you should almost always have selected for working in SketchUp. I'm going to get rid of this panel then, and then back to making a rectangle. Remember, click, move, click. So I'm going to click, move, and I'm going to start typing. So 10.3 mm, comma 11.2 mm, and hit enter. Notice I did not have to move my mouse into the bottom right hand corner. I simply click start making my shape and then immediately start typing. Don't click anywhere else or move my mouse or anything. If I take both hands off the mouse, then I don't ha then I, I know that I won't accidentally move my mouse, which if you see right now when I move it, it resets my my typing. I have to retype everything. So get your hand off the mouse. 10.3 mm comma 11.2 mm and then hit enter. It's really small. I can zoom in using the wheel, or I can choose the bottom menu on the left, which is the view sort of navigation menu, and I can click on the zoom extents, and it'll bring it right into view. Anything that's created in the model will be now into view. Pretty helpful tool. The next thing I'd like to do is to add some dimensions to this. So I'm going to click on the dimension tool, which is the third from the bottom. Usually it shows a tape measure like this. And then I'm going to choose the second item in there. And I can either click on two corners. So I'll do that. And then drag sideways, and I have a nice dimension showing it exactly how long that side is. Or I can make a line blue, click on it, drag outwards. And that gives me also that same dimension idea. So the last step in this assignment then is to create a vertical um, space dimension to this box and add the dimension tool. So here we go, push-pull. Make sure the surface I want to move is colored in dots. Click, drag, and then type in the dimension I would want, 22.7 mm, and hit enter. Zoom out so I can see it. Use the dimension tool. Choose a blue line, doesn't matter which one you choose. Drag it out, click, and actually, I'd like that to be a little farther out so I can see it better. And there you go. This assignment's done. Remember, to hand it in, you will need to save it. And then you would choose to download it. And then from there, you can upload that file into the assignment area. For this particular assignment, you're not going to have it printed, so don't hand it into the 3D printing queue. All right, hope that's helpful.